In this video, I will provide you with a few things to consider when trying to figure out the top of your footings for a deck framing project. Number one on the list will be the desired finished deck height. And this can be anywhere from zero or even with the interior floor all the way down to the maximum stair step height in your area. And that can be anywhere from seven to eight inches. Number two on the list will be the dimensions of all the products you're going to use. For example, the decking thickness, joist height, beam height, and any building hardware or anything else that is going to create what I like to refer to as the stack. All of the dimensions from the top of the deck to the top of the piers. And this is the main reason why I'm making the video. You've got to double check all these measurements because if your piers are too high, then you're going to have a big problem. If they're too low, you can usually add materials to make up the difference. And number three, the minimum height above grade. This usually keeps the bottom of your wood post or beams out of the dirt and away from any moisture that could cause that wood to rot. And the minimum measurement for the distance between the top of the soil and the top of the concrete pier or where the wood is going to be connecting to the top of the concrete pier is going to be six inches. And for our last tip, let's not forget that the ground usually isn't going to be perfectly flat and should actually be sloping away from the building. And if this is the case, you might need to make additional adjustments to the tops of your footings. And if you're going to make sure that all of the tops of the footings are in the same location and going to be level with each other, then you won't need to modify any of the materials. And if you're going to be using posts, then the location of the top of your footing probably isn't going to matter much. You're going to be able to adjust the height of the post. If not, then these measurements are going to be critical. So if you have sloping soil, and that's a good thing, by the way, if you don't, it wouldn't be a bad idea to slope the soil underneath your deck to keep the water draining away from your house and away from the concrete footings if possible. And since we don't need to have each footing at the same height when we're using posts, we can simply lower them and keep the tops of them six inches above the soil and make all of the necessary adjustments to our wood posts. So again, to wrap things up here, you're going to need to know what all of the dimensional sizes are for any of the products you're going to be using until you get to the top of the concrete footing. And this will include building hardware that's going to have a space between the products, between the footing and the post, between the post and the beam, and you're going to need to double check all these measurements. I cannot tell you how critical that is going to be if you're not going to be using something like a wood post that you can make the necessary adjustments to after the concrete is poured. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.